Mm. But this is the thing. Uh, somebody is worried about uh, giving this money because maybe they're looking at it and they're like, uh, how long am I going to, you know, if I'm saving, I need to be in a position to where if I need the money, I could actually get it. But uh, you're subjecting me to until I retire. How, how long is that? Okay. Um, one thing is that um, when we are talking about saving here, we are talking about an employee mm -hmm. who is employed in a formal sector. Okay. But also we are talking about uh, an employee mm -hmm. in the informal sector. Mm -hmm. We have a product for the informal sector called mm -hmm. Haba Haba. Here, you have a haba as it suggests in Kidogo Kidogo. Yeah, yeah, totally. So you, you save according to ability. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on how much income you are able to get, we allow you to save as little as 25 shillings a mm -hmm. day. You can pay daily, you can pay weekly, you can pay at the end of the month. But the idea here is uh, if you save now consistently for five years in this haba haba for the informal sector, mm -hmm. you qualify to get a benefit of 50% of your savings plus interest which you can plow back to your business mm -hmm. or otherwise, okay. and then you continue saving. The idea of NSSF is to save for the future. There is a time is coming when you will not be able to work, mm -hmm. when you will not be able to get uh, income to take care of yourself in terms of health, in terms of many other ways. So if you withdraw everything now, mm -hmm. because you are fearing the years to come and retire, mm -hmm. then you retire into poverty, okay. which again we are trying to fight against. All right. Remember NSF was created in 1965, as mm -hmm. Dr. Ari said, on the basis of uh, uh, a government paper, mm -hmm. which was to fight poverty, disease and ignorance. Mm -hmm. So this problem, which was there in 1965, is still with us. We still have disease, mm -hmm. we still have poverty, and those are the things we must focus for. Okay. Because uh, as uh, reading a particular article and they are talking about how people are dying and, uh, you know, uh, getting old and dying poor, yet they've been working all their life. Do we have a probability of people contributing to NSSF and also withdrawing early instead of waiting until maybe when there's that particular need to actually have this money that you've been saving for all these years? Brian, priority planning prevents poor performance. Mm -hmm. You cannot put your eggs in one basket. You can't tell me the food you've kept for dinner, mm -hmm. you eat it together with breakfast and lunch. That's what you're trying to say. Because NSSF is dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, your salary is breakfast. Lunch is your savings in the bank. Mm -hmm. So look at that analogy. That kind of argument is saying that we need to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the same time, <laughs> including tomorrow's food. So NSSF is actually food meant for later on. Mm -hmm. You can save in circles, you can save in a bank, you have this, your salary, you have the mattress, mm -hmm. if you, want, you wish to do so. Mm -hmm. But NSSF is money meant for that particular purpose. And you can't change that purpose because it will beat the purpose, actually it's, it's purpose uh, in totality. Okay. So this is where we are saying that just try to enhance your savings. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me that people are retiring in poverty, mm -hmm. yet they are saving 200 shillings. What do you expect of 200 shillings? You know, garbage in, garbage out. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're going to put in is what you're going to get. Okay. So if we enhance what we're going to, what you're contributing, you're going to get something good. Mm -hmm. And I'm giving you an example of people who come here, like the, 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 the Europeans who come here. Mm -hmm. Actually, they save, they save in their NSSF in back their countries. And this and the saves it back in their countries, mm -hmm. lend that money to Brenton institutions. They lend to IMF. They lend that money to uh, World Bank. Mm -hmm. So this money comes to us. We are borrowing this money, paying very heavily. And the people who are enjoying are those guys who are saving there. This is why I like what the president said, that we need to mobilize these local resources so that we can borrow internally, okay. which is cheap and the interest will come to our own people, All right. yeah, as opposed to what is happening now. Okay. Now, I, be, be, I, I, I'm, I'm running out of time, and I just have like a two questions before we take a look at the feedback. Uh, let me come to you. You say, so somebody who is actually in informal settlement, uh, informal rather employment, uh, can be able to contribute to NSSF. Are they also subjected to what you're seeing here, whereby it's uh, pensionable and all that? No, mm -hmm. um, because this is voluntary and it is uh, pegged to how much you are able to make in a day. And sometimes that kind of economy is quite unpredictable. Okay. So the terms are flexible. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, they pay uh, according to ability, mm -hmm. but we are put it in a sense that at least any given time, mm -hmm. uh, you should not be able to pay less than 200 shillings okay. uh, in your savings. So we cannot put it on 6% like the others. Mm -hmm. Uh, they, have not, they are not on guaranteed uh, returns, mm -hmm. so they pay according to ability. Mm -hmm. But we also advise them that because sometimes you have money today, tomorrow you don't have it. Okay. So we say when you have, pay as much as you can. Right. So that by the end of the year, you should be having at least 4,800 shillings minimum per year. Then you pay now consistently for five years mm -hmm. for you to qualify uh, for uh, the benefit of 50% after the five years. Okay. Yes. All right. And so then uh, there are no penalties. It is flexible, but we encourage the people to save as much as possible. Okay. Yeah. L let me come to you because this is a question that uh, somebody asked and said uh, they've been working, somebody could have worked for an organization, then uh, most of their life they work for this organization, but this organization uh, dissolves disappears, it goes bankrupt and it's not, not existing anymore. Maybe it was an international organization working in the country and uh, it's nowhere to be seen. But uh, this is where most of their working life was and they used to contribute to NSSF when they were here. When that organization left the country, what happens to their money? What happens is that uh, insolvency has processes mm -hmm. in the laws of this country. When a company goes broke, there are stages it goes through. Mm -hmm. And the first thing you've had things like uh, when liquidation comes in, there's receiver managers. Mm -hmm. That is now the work of receiver managers okay. to ensure that all people whose this company, uh, uh, which this company owes, mm -hmm. the liabilities and assets of that company that is insolvent, mm -hmm. they have to be taken care of under liquidation. Okay. So for us, we will encourage all workers who are contributing to any organization, any company. Mm -hmm. That's why we have gone fully digital mm -hmm. in terms of star three or three hash. Mm -hmm. You can check on your phone to see whether your money is going in. And when a company does not just wake up today and collapse uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. It, it's not possible. Okay. There's a process that you're going to be scanned through. Mm -hmm. And we always ensure that we secure the interests of our members, mm -hmm. especially when they check to know whether their money is being remitted or not, because we have compliance officers out there who go out to check mm -hmm. and ensure that all organizations that are actually registered or members mm -hmm. are remitting this money. Okay. So I don't think if, unless you, I don't know why you, how under our circumstances, but there are processes and laws okay. that we safeguard. Uh -huh. We encourage employees to be vigilant, mm -hmm. and keep on checking their statements mm -hmm. many times. Mm -hmm. As Dr. Ari says, we are branches countrywide. Okay. In all the counties we have, we have about 60 mm -hmm. branches countrywide. Mm -hmm. And in these branches, we have uh, compliance officers okay. who audit, check these things, and mm -hmm. make sure that employers are complying. Okay. In the event they don't, then they take legal action. Let me ask you a question. You are in charge of collection. How much have you collected so far in terms of uh, how has been your projection? And uh, with this increase, what are you looking at? Um, we. Um, uh, we have uh, about uh, about 82,000 employers mm -hmm. with various number of employees okay. and it changes month by month. Mm -hmm. uh, so really you wouldn't say how much it okay. is, but I will say that uh, as at now mm -hmm. we are talking about 70 to 80 percent collections okay. Okay. because by next week, in fact uh, not even next week, this week, mm -hmm. Uh, because we'll be now collecting for February. Mm -hmm. The deadline is on 9th. Mm -hmm. People start paying from 1st all the way to 9th. Mm -hmm. So as we speak now, 70 to 80%. I've already paid their contributions. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm running out of time, but I want to take uh, the feedback that you've been having here. Uh, could we get uh, that question that we did ask and what people are saying in regards to that? Right, the question we are asking is, do you support the move to increase NSSF contributions from 200 to 2,160? And 34% uh, of you say yes, uh, uh, and 66% uh, of you say no. Let me just take some of the feedback here. Kindly, if we could get that on our screen so that uh, we take uh, a look at what people are saying online. All right, I think... Uh, uh, let me just uh, read that. Uh, I think uh, at who's that? Alexander Mwasi Mwasi says at two thousand four hundred a year for thirty years is seventy two k, and an amount that will will then at the uh, at uh, at that point of.